Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Dominic, who was born in Spain, lived at the same time as Francis of Assisi, and tradition says there came a moment when the two of them met, founders of these two great mendicant orders, the Franciscans and the Dominicans. Orders that were not cloistered, didn't live in monasteries, went out and preached in the plazas, the streets, the marketplaces of Europe's cities and villages. And so Dominic had a tremendous devotion to the Word of God. And he carried uh, the Bible with him always and had great pieces of it memorized. Actually, not too much is known about his life, but we do know that he was dedicated to preaching. And so even the letters after a Dominican's name, O.P., stand for the order of preacher. So to preach the Word of God is the fundamental task of the church and certainly uh, the task of each of us in our own way. You know, bishops, priests, deacons formally preach the Word of God at Mass, but each one of us, by the words we speak, the actions we embrace, the life of faith we live, we too are called to both incarnate and preach God's Word. So we honor the Dominicans who have been a long presence in our diocese, way before our diocese even was created. We think of uh, the sisters at Cincinnati who were founded by Father Mazzucchelli, himself a Dominican. And we think of the Dominican priests and brothers who have served for over 100 years at Blessed Sacrament Parish and at other institutions in our diocese. We think of Edgewood, um, high school, college, grade school also administered by the Dominican sisters. Um, this past weekend was the annual Mazzucchelli pilgrimage. Um, people walking from Dubuque all the way to Benton where Father Mazzucchelli is buried. Last year we had a, a big mass at the mound and then over a hundred of us walked in intense heat the 12 miles to Benton to honor the legacy of Father Mazzucchelli as really the founding saint of our diocese, the man who planted the seed of the gospel through his preaching and his action uh, so many years ago and founded many of our parishes. So just a big shout out of praise and thanks to all the Dominicans in our diocese who have served with such great um, generosity, um, leaving behind a legacy of faith of the word both preached and lived.